Good morning, y'all. It is bright and early this morning, and I'm fired up to do my first workout of the day. So Sam just left for work, and he finished his workout. I usually work out with him before he leaves for work, but I was feeling like some pumped up music, and before he leaves for work, we usually work out with like lo-fi beats, and I was like, no, I wanna have a great workout this morning, so I waited till he left, because I'm about to blast the music and get myself pumped and get this workout in. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. I honestly don't know why I'm so energized this morning. I don't know how long this is gonna last, guys. I literally don't know. I look, like I look tired, but I don't feel that tired. I felt tired when I woke up and I was like, we're having a good workout today. So, let's make it happen. I'm gonna mix up my BCAs right now and get started. And as you guys know, it's gonna be a home workout to have my weights like over there, so. About to pump it up. There's gonna be some shoulder action today. Woo! Okay, let's do it.
workout shake, showered, clearly, and had oatmeal for breakfast. But I'm feeling a little hungry, so I kinda wanna have some avocados. Guys, I am obsessed, obsessed with avocados, okay? I'm really, really obsessed with them. And I know like people usually have them with like as guac or with other things. Like I love to eat avocados by themselves. Is that just me? I put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, but like I love avocados. I have my little like fruit section here. It's a little messy right now. It's a little messy, but you know what? That's fine. My avocados are in here. I'm gonna have an avocado feast. And then I have some errands to run, which is why I'm wearing my little sweater. And I have some jeans on. The weather is kind of shite out there. It's absolutely raining. Let me show you guys. I know you saw that. Super uncool and not fun. Like it's not even, I feel like it's not lightly raining. It's kind of like raining quite a bit. I have a confession. You guys are gonna yell at me, but I don't own an umbrella. <laughs> I mean, we live in California. It like doesn't rain that often. So I do not own an umbrella. So I'm gonna be getting drenched out there. I'm gonna wear a jacket, of course, because it's also kind of chilly for me. <laughs> for me, This is gonna be fun. Hopefully I don't really have to be out in the rain much. I'm going down to the garage and driving. Let me tell you, my car decided that it was a good idea, that it just really, really wanted to run over a nail. So now I got a nail in my tire. That's gonna be part of my errands today is hopefully getting my tire patched. I hope I don't have to get a new tire because that will not be fun. It will be a very expensive new tire. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's just a patch and it's not nothing crazy. And I also wanted to wash my car today, but <laughs> that's not gonna be happening. And not with all this rain going on, I'm not about to wash my car just to get rain on it. So luckily I didn't wash it yesterday because if I had, I would have been pissed. Let's eat my avocado. That's what we're here for. Doesn't she look delicious? It looks so scrumptious. I know some people are like, oh my God, avocados are gross. They don't taste like anything. But you know what? I think they taste amazing. It is a great source of fat. Okay, let's not forget that. And you just gotta sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on that bad boy. And it tastes bomb. are ready to finally leave to go run errands. I've been delaying all day. I got my apartment key, so I don't lose that. Have my car key, got a bottle of water, and then I have my backpack, just in case I'm able to sit somewhere and do some work. So I have everything I need. So uh, let's go ahead and get these errands done so I can come back and relax and read my book and drink my water and do my second workout of the day. to show you guys the flat tire that I'm working with and you can even see the nail on it. Look at that. This is what's giving me the biggest headache right now. All right, wish me luck. Oh, God. Let's hope 
that they just need to patch it. All right, let's go. to fix my car and they said from the looks of it it looks like it's not a bad puncture that they would just need to patch it up but that they won't know until they take the tire apart if there's any damage on the inside of the tire since I did drive it all the way to work and back and I work an hour away hopefully they'll be done soon they're letting me wait here which is really nice so fingers crossed <laughs> that it's just a patch and this place is so cool too because they said if it's just a patch then I don't have to pay for it. It's free. I love this place. Well, I do love it. But I'm hoping for good news too. Guys, <laughs> literally the best news ever. I got out of the bathroom and then I sat back down and then the guy came up to me he's like oh you're able to fix and patch up your tires and there was no damage on the inside and it's free and I was just like oh my gosh like you are such a lifesaver stayed positive and they fixed it and I didn't have to pay anything and they just had to patch it up so I feel so grateful and so happy I'm about to drive home right now I'm still like in the parking lot they're probably like this crazy girl like is she gonna leave but they were so nice so I'm just in the best mood right now it's not raining anymore feeling grateful I'm gonna drive home and yeah I was gonna maybe go grocery shopping but I just want to go home and just like relax but yeah just want to let you guys know we are home i am in the best possible mood it's getting dark i need to go do my reading and then i need to clean up a little bit and do the dishes do some dishes before simon comes home and is like what the heck happened here today um so we're gonna get that done <laughs> let me show you what book i'm reading guys i think that you'll enjoy this i actually love this book so much and I don't know, I just find it so inspirational and so motivating. Oh, it's getting kind of dark. I can't even see myself. It's just very inspirational and motivating, at least for me. Um, so I'll just share it with you guys. I have the book here. It's called Tribe of Mentors, and it's by Timothy Fair. And the way he describes this book is short life advice from the best in the world. He comes up with a number of questions and he pretty much asks these questions sends them out to a bunch of people that are successful in the world whether they are entrepreneurs inventors writers actors whatever it is he sends these questions out to them and they all answer and some people answer all of the questions some people answer some of the questions it is so motivating and so inspirational to me at least and I just find it encouraging um and i've enjoyed it so far it was actually given to me by one of my neighbors and he gave it to me last year because he felt like it would be something that would be really helpful for me at that time which he was 100 percent correct about because it was about the time that i had just started my instagram and he was encouraging me to do something post something like fitness wise or do something fitness wise, whether it's a program or starting an Instagram. He had been one of the people that really supported me from the very beginning. And he got me this book. And it's just, I mean, it's such a great book. Look who's back. It's me. <laughs> we are about to go on our late night run to get the second part of our workout done. So we're gonna go on a run. I'm like decked out wearing sweats because you know what? It is cold and it is raining outside. We're gonna go on our run and then we're gonna come back and relax, chill, eat some dinner and enjoy the rest of our Friday night. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this little vlog or whatever you wanna call it. And I hope that you have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.